my name's Rishi Sarpal uh, and I read for a degree in real estate finance here at St Edmunds College. Uh, I've been fortunate that you know since graduating I've been able to uh, take roles in real estate private equity and consulting both in London and also in the US. And I am Caitlin Sarple, formerly Caitlin McCarthy when I matriculated here at Eddie's also in 2016. I read for the MPhil in environmental policy um, and I've really been blessed with a great career in environmental policy in the last half decade and, and now I'm back in school to pursue a law degree and excited to use my MPhil as an environmental attorney in the future. St. Edmunds to us definitely means a strong sense of community. Um, being here from the first day was such a joy. I felt like as soon as I walked through the doors, both the faculty, the staff here, um, and of course our friends that we made on the first day and have continued to be our dear friends throughout our adult lives. And we've been really blessed by the community here. For me too, the community of faith and, and being the only Catholic college in Cambridge was a really special additional layer of community that has meant a lot to me over the years. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I think Kate and spot on there with that response. Uh, I'll just add to that, you know, obviously living in the US now, coming back to the UK, St. Edmunds is always top of the list of places we want to go back to just because um, you know, the faculty, the staff, the students, everyone works incredibly hard and everyone does such a great job. Uh, it really does feel like home away from home um, in, in a lot of ways. And definitely given that it's the place where, where we met and, you know, uh, both our academic careers and, and, you know, our relationship began to flourish, it, it's obviously very special in our hearts. That's a great question. I think obviously Rishi and I are in our late 20s and that's not normally something that would have been at the forefront of our minds. Um, when COVID began, you know, the world was a terrifying place and we wanted to make sure that we were taking care of ourselves, each other, our families, our dear ones, and Eddie's honestly fit in very easily with that. Um, when, the co when the pandemic was off to a bigger start, we decided the most prudent thing to do was really to you know, make our initial wills right then. And um, when we were thinking about the legacy that we hope to have in all the decades to come, um, it was important for us to include Eddie's in that. Eddie's was the beginning of our relationship and it's a relationship that we wanna give back to for all the years to come. Uh, completely. and. <laughs> Another you know, strong element I think is we've been blessed to now observe the development of the college, uh, both from when we matriculated up and through uh, just now and, and today and seeing all the wonderful development that goes on here, um, you know, the additional facilities, the renovation of facilities, always with a student first mindset mm -hmm. is very encouraging. And, and we certainly feel you know, pleased to see where you know, our funds go to help directly other students that were like us uh, as well as expanding the college's footprint. Uh, it's very nice and it's very transparent here, I think, versus some of the other uh, colleges in the system. So, you know, we definitely feel very privileged to be able to be in a position to do that for the college. I would hope our legacy and, and that of you know, other benefactors and, and donors really helps to um, continue to improve upon the student experience. Um, not that there's necessarily anything wrong with it. As I said, we had a lovely time. Um, but just continue to, to build the college's footprint and you know, making it truly be the most um, you know, complete and holistic experience for, for new students and as well as for folks who may want to come back once they've already done a degree, do an advanced degree. And Caitlin's always uh, nagging me and bugging me to, to think about my PhD, for example. But you know, if I did, um, there'd be nowhere else I'd want to do it but St. Edmunds College. So I think maintaining that and helping to preserve and, and bolster that for future generations and future students is really important to us. I agree, I would add that I feel strongly that the leadership at Eddie's has always been really phenomenal. Um, we definitely trust all the decisions that they make and we feel confident that in giving any funds that we can, the leadership here, as Rishi said, is very transparent, but is also just completely focused on the student experience. We honestly had the best 
time at Eddie's, obviously. Um, we love coming back, but every single day here was so special and we just want our legacy to be furthering that same experience in whatever form or shape that takes for all the students to come. That's a great question. Definitely, Eddie's has us playing the short game and the long game, and we're just having so much fun with it. So um, one thing that I particularly really love is the various GoFundMes and things that pop up you know, throughout the year. We like being able to help with kind of immediate needs and, and somewhat more fun needs. You know, when the college needs a new punt or the outdoor exercise equipment during COVID, you know, those are such positive, fun things that of course we want to contribute to and directly impacts the student experience, which is so important to us and to, you know, helping establish that for students to come. Um, and I think that we really enjoy doing those things now in the moment, but then knowing that we can support Eddie's through our will you know, in the decades to come, I feel like those two really complement each other. And for sure, I would recommend to our fellow peers, our fellow alumni to kind of think of it the same way. It's not an either or, but how can we contribute today? How can we contribute in the future? We feel that those really complement each other well. Indeed, uh, St. Edmunds has done so much for setting us up for our future. It seems only right that as we go into our future years, we endeavour to do the same and make sure that that provision is there for the college in the way it's been there for us. I mean, I, the only other thing I, I want to add is just, um, you know, kudos to everyone that's made this such a special place to study um, for many years. I mean, we've had experience and vision into such a small slice of it, but, you know, the college is relatively young compared to many of the other larger colleges. And I think just seeing the amazing work and, and how funds have already been put to such great use uh, over the course of the last few years or so and, and through the pandemic is, is very, very encouraging. Mm -hmm. And I'm super excited to keep coming back every year and, and seeing what, what's been redeveloped and what's been added and um, just seeing the glee on so many current and even prospective students' faces is really exciting to me. I would also add that we've been so impressed with all the new buildings, the architecture, just everything. It's nice to see Eddie's grow while retaining that spirit that makes the college so special to itself. Um, I will also add a plug that I absolutely love Father Ed's <laughs> YouTube masses, everything. Um, it's amazing how much the college does to support students here, as well as students for life. Rishi and I, you know, just loving being part of this experience for all the years to come. It's really stretched so far beyond our initial time here, and we're very grateful to be a part of the Eddie's family.